Hey, hello guys and gals. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Apple certificate to your Intune tenant. So once you log into Intune console, you want to make sure you go to device enrollment. If you haven't choose your device MDM authority yet, it's going to ask you uh, to choose either configuration manager or Intune. In my case, I already chose Intune. And if you want to manage Apple devices or iOS devices, you need to go to Apple Enrollment. Click on Apple Enrollment. Let's go back here. Um, device Enrollment. And then click on Apple Enrollment. So what you need to do, you're going to follow this process. So you're going to click Apple MDM push certificate. So you have to follow all these steps here. I click on agree. I'm going to download the CSR file. Okay, look like the file has been downloaded. Let's see where it's downloaded to. Okay. It's under downloads. And I'm going to step three, create your MDM push certificate. Click on that one. If you use Chrome, sometimes it doesn't show up anything. You might want to refresh. So you should get the sign in page. I click sign in. and you click on create a certificate when you create a certificate it's going to ask you to you need to upload the uh, the file that you just created in my case it's intune csr.csr uh, file choose files go to downloads here's the files and then oops and then let's choose the file again i click it twice and click on upload all right look like the file has been uploaded manage click on manage certificate and you need to download this file so i click on download as you can see the file is good for 12 months which one year so you're gonna have to renew every 12 months so the file has been downloaded. It's under my download folder. And then you need to go back to your Intune console. You want to enter your Apple ID. Oops. enter your apple id and then you browse to the file that you just downloaded which is the dot pem file so it has to look like this and click on upload as you can see it says your certificate file has been successfully created so right now i'm done with the apple certificate so now i should be able to enroll any apple devices any ios devices if you click on that again it says apple certificate is active so days until expi expiration 365 days that's it that's how you do it
um thank you for watching and have a good day